So, what do you think about the idea of mandatory military service? This is an idea that apparently is being floated within Trump's orbit, including from his former defense secretary. In fact, one of the few people he did not fire, (laughs) somebody he may actually bring back in a potential second term. So I'm going to get to this report as well as Trump's reaction to this, which is very strong, but we'll get there. First, this is not all that surprising to see this idea brought up again, simply because there is a prominent election going on right now in the UK, where the conservatives have also brought this idea up publicly as part of their campaign. Uh, It appears they really want to lose this election badly, (laughs) because this is not a popular idea. You know, it is with maybe people 65 plus who are not going to be impacted by this. But generally, it's not popular. I'll get to some polling from uh, the U.S. on that as well. But this is the guy that has uh, brought this up in an interview with the Washington Post. Christopher Miller, Trump's last defense secretary, said a national service requirement should be strongly considered in order to boost numbers and morale in America's armed services. Now, you may or may not recognize him, but this, in fact, is Christopher Miller. Going on to say... Speaking of the Post, Miller outlined a vision also detailed in the Trump Teams Project 2025 document, which is public. It's out there. This You can read it yourself. To give military recruiters increased access to schools and mandate the armed services entrance examination at public schools that receive federal funding. If we're going to prepare for a great power competition, it's helpful to have a baseline understanding of the pool of potential military service members and their specific aptitudes prior. So this directly benefits what the Republican Party wants to accomplish. Now, I'm going to get to Trump's reaction because he's, again, he's very clear uh, on his position. But it's in the document. (laughs) It's in the Trump team document. Not necessarily the, the mandatory military service, but at the very least, the introduction of increasing recruiters, in uh, increasing their access to schools to get a hold of your children. Like th- this is this is how this stuff starts. Trump has been complimentary of Miller's performance during his administration and suggested that if there is a second term, he might reprise his role as defense secretary, a powerful cabinet post with sway over Pentagon policy. So again, Miller uh, Miller's one of the few people who have not been fired by Trump and would be very likely would very likely return if not in that same role then in a similar role and would have sway and clearly he has Uh, strong feelings about the idea of mandatory service. Now, there's also others in Trump's orbit that feel this way as well. Um, And this was also in the Washington Post piece. Uh, Some of them are are not named, but one of them is a uh, potential Trump running mate in J.D. Vance, who uh, is a little more, um, I guess, vague, you could say, in, in his position here. But he says, I like the idea of national service. And I'm not talking about wartime adding that more Americans need to put some skin in the game. So again, he Vance understands how unpopular the idea of mandatory military service is, but he's calling it national service and that Americans need to put some skin in the game, whatever that means. Now, Donald Trump reacted here uh, and he doesn't react to every story out there. So you, you can tell he felt compelled to react to this one because he knows that this can hurt him. The fake news Washington Post came up with the ridiculous idea that Donald J. Trump, why does he talk about himself in the third person, will call for mandatory military service. This is only a continuation of their eight-year failed attempt to damage me with the voters. The story is completely untrue. It's an interview with the guy, with Christopher Miller. They talk, there's quotes from him in the piece. (laughs) The story is not completely untrue. But he goes on to say here, in fact, I never even thought of that idea. Only a degenerate former newspaper, which has lost 50% of its readers, would fabricate such a tale. Just another fake story, one of many made up by the dead Washington compost. Which I gotta admit is kind of creative. But, well, it's a good thing Trump never lies. So we can believe him here when he says he's very much against this. I don't think Trump cares either way. 
I think Trump is very much concerned about himself, very much concerned about not facing any sort of repercussions for his crimes, and that's why he wants to win, and he also just enjoys the power of being president. But in terms of the people that actually do the policy, the ones around him, the ones in control, people like potentially Christopher Miller, those are, the, those are going to be the individuals that are the ones implementing these ideas that are, again, already a lot of them in Project 2025, which is online and you can read yourself. Now, this is a very unpopular idea, which, again, goes to why Trump was uh, so quick to come out and uh, deny that he wants this. So uh, most will oppose the draft. This is the most recent poll I could find about this from uh, Rasmussen here. So they go on to say the armed forces are dealing with what has been called a crisis in military recruiting. I'll get to that more on that in a second. However, only 27% of voters believe the United States should have a military draft, up from 23% in August 2022, while 55% remain opposed to a draft. Another 18% are not sure. Now, there is a problem. Every, so this is from 2022, but every branch of military is struggling to make its 2022 recruiting goals. They then ended up uh, Army lowers standards amid recruiting crisis. So that was part of their attempt to try and address this. And uh, the Navy as well. Navy again lowers requirements as it struggles to meet recruitment goals. So one way to potentially solve this problem, especially if you are going to continue increasing tensions with other superpowers around the globe is to simply force people into the military. 